Let's go snowboarding. Well, you know, let's let's take our frustration out on some snowboarding. Also, what's up, Don? Go, snowboard grandmaster. I did it. New record. Ooh, hair. Okay. I like that we just get like free ornaments for this. Yeah, breath and crease running away. Reminds me. Oh, well, you had Reaper on. You ass. So we can get her a reaper. Ooh, that's a nice MP there. Keep that on. Does Reaper have? Reaper doesn't have a wave, right? No, okay, it's Spark Iron Frost that you do not excite. What else we want to put on there? Ooh, Ingenuity's good. Give her, yeah, harvest. We gotta up uh, two of her things. Bottom two. Sharon did so good. Side quest? Soup. 
onion soup. Here's Petrify. Wild monkeys broke into the outdoor storehouse and made off with his entire supply. Wow. What is with this place and wild monkeys? Fight the monkeys. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I gotta go to the chapel now. God, this is so silly. Monkey's out here stealing, you know, stealing the beans. It's been stolen by monkeys. Okay, oh that's gonna be uh, well there yep. Monkeys. We I mean, just give them to the Estelle Blair. Give me a recipe. Give me a recipe for my work, right? Get a recipe. Two hours later. Enough for everyone. What is that? Like, is that like nine? Oh, ten. Okay. Okay, Cure Seal Mutant sat down. That's not too bad. Oh, I do have the, uh, DLC. I for- I- hey, I did buy the DLC, what? You can dress green up like Joshua? Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. Think of you are unspeakable? I don't even know what that means. I'm nervous. Oh man. Well. As we get them, we unlock them. I don't make the rules, that's just how it is. I totally forgot I bought all this. I forgot that it's in the DLC. I forgot there was a DLC menu. Anniversary Nishi Anniversary Cover, okay. Ugh. Oh, this feels like easy mode. But at the same time, we're gonna burn through Sepeth a lot. Now this is like, ridiculous. To 30 Zarin powders. 30 Zarin capsules! I just. I don't. I'm not gonna use that. 50 U materials! That's weird how it has two sets of it. That's odd. Alright. Okay, it's just casuals from, like, the first game. That's... okay, it's a thing best. Holy shit, it really is just straight up Joshua. A vestige of Reen's impressionable younger years ring it will not unleash the dark power within you. Well, I don't even know what this is. This is so edgelord. This is absolutely edgelord. This is like... Cypher Reen. I think this is a good outfit. I'm gonna keep this outfit. World Rejector. Jeez, that's also edgelord itself. Fancy Rena? Oh, do we do Fancy Rena? Aww, Mishu. Oh my god, what are we, Walter? Are we Walter? You're getting buffering. That's not good. I'm not dropping any frames. It's probably Twitch. Wait, let me see. I actually did drop some frames. When did I drop frames? But it says my stream quality is good, so... Uh, 
Let me know if it gets any, uh, any, if it gets better. Yeah, audio and I'm, I'm Twitch porking. Okay. Oh, I can go through everybody, so no. I know, right? Oh, so what's up, KFC? Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my god, I might, I might run that on her. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. An outfit of Lisa Warwin secretly pretending to be magical girl. She thinks no one noticed her doing it. They did. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I mean, the Estelle. The, oh man, Estelle's real. This is a really good one. Those glasses are really silly. Right? She's never in the party. No like it's good. Oh, oh, oh my god, we're gonna tweet hot! Oh no! That's better. With a monocle. <laughs> the butter. Oh no, I just had a really bad idea. Oh my god, this is really British right here. Absolutely putting this on Machias. Oh no, he's got the camo? I can't. No, no camo for you, bud. What is that hat? That hat's pretty good. But I think this outfit's really- I like the goggles, that's why I like, but like... The irony of goggles and, uh, glasses. This is way British. First games. Man! Ooh, that suit actually is fire. Holy shit. Like, that's fire. Oh, that right there is actually money. That's money. Alright. We're dropping more frames, it seems. Um, I'm gonna do something real quick. You got it, stuff. Why is this happening? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like that. Can I not? Oh, I can't touch any of those? 
Oh, I'd have to cut to do this? This is dumb. You guys let me know, are we good? It says I dropped like 9.6% of frame. This is good though, like this is fire. This is so fire. Oh my god, the yeehaw. Oh, can we go for the yeehaw? Actually, I like this one better. Also, definitely a monocle on her. Oh, he's got to wear those shades. Mm, the glasses like, don't sit on her face really well at all. No one to know it's Sharon. We have dick around so much in this menu. Also, man, that Estelle outfit's actually super good. Uh... Alright, I don't feel like that's not- that doesn't feel broken. That's a little broken. That's a little broken. I know, I might have to use her to see it. Oh, you know She's right here in it. Oh man. It's a really good outfit. I know, right? You just gotta, I'm, I'm cheating. A big cheater here. Right, what we gotta do is go fishing. Alright, let's just look at it. No problem. Fine. It's pretty cute. Oh, I could probably fish here. Actually, now that we're a uh, new fisherman. There's the rod. Okay, excellent rod. Ooh, Breeze is really good, and I want that. We're gonna have to work for that. <laughs> right? We'll see it. We'll definitely see it. Well, that's really good, too. I don't have to worry about it. We made it out 
in one piece. Uh, and it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. Yeah, she's pretty basic. Like, not my favorite, but like, not a bad character at all. Like, I, I think oh, she had some really good development. Uh, and I didn't want to do that. I want to use the other Rob. I think she had really good development at the end of the last, uh, at the end of the first game. I mean, she's supposed to be, I guess, canonically the love interest, I guess? But I don't really see it that way. Yeah, she's definitely not in that trope, which is nice. That would be really unfortunate. <laughs> Like, the damsel in distress is something that, for the most part, these games don't really do all that much, it seems. I'm trying to think of who is the closest to that. I mean, Estelle's always going to be, like, one of the best female pro tags in these games. And it's probably one of the best pro tags in a JRPG ever. Not bad. I mean, she does have a mansion and a great maid. Very true. With pleasure. Oh my, look at that. What is that range? Wait, did he like straight up saw me and she still like knocked him out? Leave it oh to me. Oh my goodness. God, the absolute Chad that is Gaius right here. Let's move. Yeah, right. Queen's got a mansion. Hi. Uh We wanted to hang out with Gaius. Where's Gaius? He's over here. Yo, can he make us a painting? Sharon's home? Sharon's always home. Or not. She's always where she needs to be. Yo, foot bath with Gaius. Also, I find it funny that he switches back into his regular costume for this. Because I guess they didn't have the model for the casual costumes with the legs rolled up.
Yo, the homie, man. Guy is just such a homie. Such a homie. We're gonna hang out with Milliam. Yo, Milliam is gonna snowboard. Let's go. Let's go carve some powder. Mil Milliam's great. Snowboard on Lammy? Wait, what? how is this fair? like cheating. <laughs> I won. Let's go. We won. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna learn some lore. Are we gonna learn any lore about this? You really don't know anything about Milliam's background. Yeah, we really don't know anything about her background. Dear Blore. When you ask for the lore and they don't give it. Ah, uh, you know, you know what it is. You know what it is. Uh, Sharon, please don't do that. Yo, we're gonna get some, uh, Ouroboros thing? Are we gonna spar against Sharon? Oh no. Oh no! I don't know how I feel about this. She's gonna murder us. Uh oh. Thank you. 
We're actually going to fight. Everyone has glasses. Can't trust anyone. It's the truth. I feel like that you had to know that when they made this like a like a like a pack of costume items, it's glasses. Also, what's up, Grayman? How you doing, bud? Alright, so this is what I was asking before. If they're granted like some kind of freedom. Until this war reaches a conclusion. Yo, base Sharon, man. Base Sharon. Character notebook updated. Severing chain. things for her. Ah, let's continue the story. We spent like 45 minutes dicking around, snowboarding and doing events, and fixing audio issues. You went up a rank. Okay. Here's a little something from the guild. Ooh, luck. Nice. Yo, and a true gladiator headband. Let's go. Keep it up. This ain't half bad. Yeah, we got an A. Let's go. We're smart. I can't look at Machias the same. <laughs> I love it. I have humiliated Machias even more than bunny ears. This is better than the ears for sure. up and about. Jesus. I 
I know. I as soon as I put those glasses on him, I'm like, you know what? This is like a Beatles look for it's like it's like Elliot went from being Ron Weasley to being like uh, like the, being like John Lennon or uh, Paul McCartney or Ringo Starr or whoever the other guy was, George Harrison. That's it. I hate the Beatles. Marcus didn't do anything wrong. I just have to. I need. I need a punching bag. Uh, let's see. <laughs> and give me a million. A share. Am I gonna have a chance to? I want to take all of the stuff off of her. I can still grab the ornaments off them, that's good. Oh, it's... okay, here we go. Oh, you can auto-equip and have choose things? That's interesting. Arts 10, drop rate plus 30%, and Fortuna. Mm. Mm. Who would I even take? I guess I could take mine one off of that, honestly. Okay, I guess oh, it's weird, it's a special. at least like level one. I 
her breath, which ups her speed and HP and gives her a healing thing, just in case. I think this is good. I think this is good. I like this. Until we get Lara. When we get Lara, then you know what's happening. Two. I thought there was three. Muses is not there, okay. Gaius, like, Gaius is, like, that outfit, man. The shades match that outfit perfectly, actually. He does look a little bit like Walter. That's a Walter outfit, if anything. I thought we did this already. This is, this is, this is what I want. Okay, this is the last time I chance to take, like, uh, accessories off. Recovery rate plus 60%? Holy sh... That's a lot. That's... That feels... Wrong. Actually, that feels so wrong to use. Like, that makes the gladiator belt, like, look weak. Definitely putting prevent confuse here. She'll murder us. Prevent friends. I know, can you believe they're already broken? Oh, not taking Toval kind of feels a little bad because it's the Bracer Guild, but screw it. Hey, 
This feels like a party that does not seem like it's gonna mesh well, but we're doing it. It's a boy, his two small girls, and a maid. Grand would this put us? There's a statue, floating castle. I'm trying to remember what was on the outskirts of the drum. Okay, so it's not the castle. Yeah, right, we have a we have a BDSM maid. Okay, this place is human with the higher elements. Higher elements everywhere. Okay, so this is where we part the arcade so. <laughs> she was there last time with us, so I just didn't know. Oh, I gotta change this, uh, this up. Okay, I was like, trying to figure out what was changed there. Got my eye on the prize. Flame tongue. Chest. Okay. Yes, sir. May I? Here I go. Second. Now's our chance. Here I come. My May I? This won't take long. A lot of that felt a lot like Hot Joshua Crafts. Guess we're safe. I'm awesome. Man, getting railroaded. <laughs> and here's the highway. We'll need to turn right to reach the town then. Uh, of course, right before the chest. I like how when she when she picks up the dress. Hurry up! 
Are you sure we should be going up against that thing? Oh, that was tough. This will be Let's move. Second. With pleasure. This will take. My. Here I go. That's that. Good old death blow. Done. Got my eye on the prize. Blue scale man. The invasion would go well on Unknown, I think. Let's move. Daddy RC is actually. He's not. Like, we don't know what the courageous is. Ugh, um. to the Bracer Guild. Receptionist is not Yeah, so Usus is I guess Oh, is Usus on the airship with his brother or something? Miles. I don't know how I feel about a man named Miles with glasses. Imagine having glasses. Imagine being trusted. <laughs> Yo, meme lynch. Let's go. Alright, here's the reason why you should get Pi <laughs> to play the Kaseki series. Oh, I put glasses on everybody. You can't trust any of them. Not even yourself. 
You should see Machias's. Green and uh, Aliza's uh, unspeakable outfit. Green's is not bad, it's super edgelordy. Yo, Gaius has the hunk outfit for sure. Uh-oh. No, Gaius, Gaius will definitely steal your girl. I was say, if you want to get Pi, like, getting Pi to play in the Kiseki series means you would get, like, the Kiseki deck in Mafia. And anytime you get Phantom Thief B, you're dead to a meme lynch. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. If I played Mafia and had, like, Phantom Thief B, I would just do nothing but meme. Did he say where he's from? No, he didn't say where he's from. I know it is, I know. That's the unfortunate truth behind it. part it seems everyone has been very nice.
I probably skipped that. I should not have skipped that. Yeah, it's unavoidable. It's gonna, it's gonna happen at some point or another. Also, was that peculiar girl something like like a Easter egg or something? It seemed kind of kind of weird. There we go. There's a recipe. Smiles only. Nothing to see here. No uh, funny business, just peculiar business. <laughs> oh, these kids again. Look at the dog. Can I pet the dog? Celine's not even a real cat. Wow. Yeah, so what's this recipe here? Seafood pilaf. Okay, that's pretty solid. So mean, he forgot me. me. Uh oh. Well, Rip Linda. Check the training school.
You have another uh, classmate. Yo, it's the boy. Why they have a painting of Loringen Castle over here in their mansion? Terrace? Well, we'll see you, Kirby. Stopped. We shouldn't go this way. <coughs> oh my god, yeah, we're getting freaking railroaded. to the castle, I guess. You know, we've seen this. I'm not saying it's cutting corners, but uh, they're definitely not moving anywhere. If the boat is just situated in like a, just on water. And the back is just spinning a effect to make it look like they're moving. A Vita game. <laughs> oh, so there used to be a divider here, but it's gone, and so is its awakener. Dead. Dead or somewhere else? I don't know. That's weird. So there used to be a. Uh, an awakener. <laughs> so 
spooky castle and spooky uh spooky stories about former awakeners and divine knights that used to be here oh, what a pain <laughs> you look awfully happy about seeing emma again soon though i do not at least it's daytime this time oh yeah decat is dead like Selena's definitely given a lot more lore than Emma has. Then again, Emma has been around. <laughs> so we find her. Uh oh. Another cryptid? Laura! Interesting. Emma. It's the same one from the Is board, that too. a cryptid? Yo, that is a Come, Emma. Both are fine we'll outfits. Fight with all we have. Right! So Very bright. Man, Laura's gotten even stronger. And Emma's kicking butt with her weird powers, too. Big. Guess we didn't need to come her. after all. They're not out of the woods yet. So it. Another one. Oh, no, that is a. That is a dragon. That is. Bloodness Lizard Cell Venom from the intro cutscene! What is that? Where did it come from? Laura! Huh? Am I imagining things? Green! Celine! Green! Celine! You bet! A set! We can explain after we've taken care of things here. We'll back you two up. Ready? We're right here with you, Laura. I can't believe you're here. Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone! A worthy adversary. The Lara in the party right My now. Turn. Let's go. Yeah. This thing is gross. Alright. I'll handle it. Wait, Radiant Wings also gives insight. That's really good. Now, does she still hit like a max rocky right now? Yeah, she does. Of course! Caster Flare. Of course, everyone's not like. Everyone's at home. Thanks. have my thanks. Rise, great I shouldn't have 
I can't sense anything else here now. You guys okay? Come on. It's, Come on, give us a hug. It's really you, isn't it? All the head pats. You're all here. Of course it's us. <laughs> this is this all means that so Usus. Usus is the only one missing now. Still, I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. Got our girl, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but clearly I was mistaken. Laura. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me. Also, we have Fee with us, which and is I like possibly thank you enough. Fee and Lara, best so friends. We can see each other again like this. There's no need to apologize, Reen. I swore to swing my sword as a member of Class Seven. And I always believed that we would meet again one day, and that I would be able to fight alongside my classmates once again. Power friendship. It's just classic. Part of who I am. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're all right. And the same goes for you too, Emma. Damn, Doc. <laughs> Why can't do that to me? I feel the same way. I chose war. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. The day has finally come where we can all be together again. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. A wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again. <sighs> and I didn't even get the lore. We were lore blocked, okay? Crow makes a shitty wingman. Who would have known? And the fact that we found each other makes everything we've been through along the way. I chose. <sighs> yes, I couldn't agree more. We tunnel visioned. We tunnel visioned in the lore and lost. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for you. Me? You accepted me despite everything. Knowing that gave me the courage to keep going. If not for that courage, I doubt I would be here now. I'm truly grateful to you, Reen. You've oh, really she's grown glow. strong, she's Emma. Blushing. <laughs> Wait, Emma! Oh, thank you, Celine. Thank you for all the support you've given my classmates. And thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> Please, it was nothing. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. At least I won't end up astray. <laughs> Celine, there's nothing wrong with being this honest about your feelings. This is, a, this is a really cute scene. Oh, she's so happy. Now we've just got to find Musis. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids either. Might I suggest we return to Legrand for now? Count me in. You guys are fine with that too, right? That's fine by me. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. Then we're off to the pier. Lots of cutscenes.
Man, Laura believes in her dad, as she, as she should. We gotta go to Berea hard. We have to go rescue Yusis again from his dad. Uh, Emma? What's wrong? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. Y yeah, more. About me. And Celine. Four. And about divine knights and awakeners. Four. You don't have to if you don't want to. Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? Is this it? Are we getting the lore? <laughs> yes. Yo, we're getting yeah. the lore. Let's it's go. It's time to finally fulfill the promise I made to you during the after party. About well, time. Are you sure. I imagine you've heard some of this from Selene already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. Yo, Hexen 64? I remember that game. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. Ah, well, it looks like uh, it might be time for my break. I'm just kidding. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them. Fragments of the great power. Just as it did for many others before. Hi. That duty fell to Emma as well. So I've been having this, 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 I don't know if it's a theory. I was thinking about it at work today. Uh, the combination of a lot of these games has kind of been like, like the Septarians, right? And Ouroboros is after Septarians and... Like, uh, we had the Septarian of Space in, uh, in the Ariel in, in Libro. We had the, uh, the Septarian of, I guess, Time, but, like, then it became Time Mirage. But we understood, we've learned about that Septarian in Crossbell. I'm not saying that the Vine Knights are Septarians. I do feel like they're a derivative of Septarians. And since Septarians kind of follow, yeah, the Septarian of Zero, Zero, which they didn't have any interest in, because yeah, the whole thing with the Septarian of Zero was that it was supposed to surpass the long lost Septarian of, I guess, Time or Mirage, or both. I don't know. There was some that was like a weird Septarian. The Ashen Knight is very much like, I mean, Ash is fire. The Ordeen, the Azure, I almost feel like that's like water. I'm not betting lore. I'm not betting lore on this one. But I almost feel like... then I, I don't want to say they're definitely Septarians, because I don't think that's right. But I feel like the same technology that created the Septarians, like the same materials, definitely went into the Divine Knights, is what I'm saying. And I wouldn't be surprised if instead of like another higher element, we start getting Septarians of like the actual elements, like Earth, Fire, Water, Wind. When you say we start seeing powers, those. You mean Balamar, right? I gotta imagine they exist. Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes. As well as the fact that they choose an Awakener. They choose an and Awakener. And that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. Septarian of Gundam, <laughs> hell yeah. Hmm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors. And yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. What right do I have to call myself your classmate? After failing all of you like that? Mm -hmm. Emma? Huh? Emma, you're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? Oh, Sharon is definitely not listening. I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. But this is where we should part ways. Emma. Yeah, that's not happening. 
You said it yourself back in yeah, the Yeah, this is Emma having house. a pity party. It's not Lord. You said Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I wanted right? Lord. I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. We all come from different backgrounds, and we all had things we were maybe scared to or couldn't tell anyone. Crow has his past, you have yours, I have this Whoa, strange power hold up. of mine I don't that know. I've carried with me for as long as I can I don't remember. know if I compare Emma's past to Crow's past. That doesn't directly That's relate to the Divine Knights things. in any way, does it? No, though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. Alright, so the fact that we go Ultra Instinct Goku was not tied to the Divine Knights. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. Cool, we're keeping that All one right, a mystery ben. for as long as possible. The point is that even after learning I have this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Fee, Machias, Eusis, Gaius, Milium, Crow, and you, Emma. You're I mean... Are we really still including Crow at this point? I feel like I feel like that book is closed. I don't, I don't think Crow's coming back. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is. Just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Oh, Reen, I. What he said. Besides, I'm pretty sure I've got way more secrets than you. Why don't you spill the beans and give us the loan, Milliam? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Sharon knows them all. So I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are, guiding me, guiding all of us. And not just, but as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. Bounce vectors are bonds that last forever. <laughs> Goodness. How can I possibly refuse when you put it like that? All right, then. I can't deny the ancient knowledge that I possess, or my position as a witch, but I always want to remain the same Emma Milstein of Class 7 that I have been since the day I wonder I if Emma Milstein's even her real name. So please, let me stay at your side. Of course. <laughs> that goes without saying. Class 7 really isn't Class 7 without you in it. Woohoo! Our class president is back on board! What a picturesque fairy tale ending. I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can see Legram coming into view now. Would everyone mind gathering their things and. Uh oh. What's that? Is that. It's coming from the sky to the west. Uh oh. Is that. That's not good. Well, like ground's being taken over. An Alliance airship? Wait, that's a commanding officer ship too. Indeed. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. <laughs> okay, I thought it was Scarlet. It sounded like Scarlet for a second. I don't know who that is. The ball? I am Aurelia Le Guin of the Noble Alliance. Oh, so this is Aurelia Le Guin. I'm I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsade. You're not allowed. Go away. Oh, mommy. Oh, my God. 
It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. Oh! But I see that won't be possible. She studied under uh, the Arsite School, okay. Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master, but I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, General. I can't believe they are here. They seem to be provincial army officers. Oh boy, I sure wasn't expecting two super important people to show up now. Milliam is just like, oh no, totally in the middle of a war. The plot armor needs to happen. Their I couldn't believe it. are General it. Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. We can kick yeah. their ass. I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. I've never heard of them. Brigadier General Bardius is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. Oh, that's but I've not heard good. he has Nord blood running through him too. Man, we could have brought oh, Gaius here and he would have seen. He, he would have seen something. He looks like he'd give Gaius his pops a run for his money. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykels during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Evil Gaius. Yeah. As for the woman with him. She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. That's a, that's a nickname. That is a nickname. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the La Mer Provincial Army. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander schools of sword. Oh, uh, cool. She knows more than one style of blade. Wasn't the Vander school practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family? Is she even human? She's supposed to be really strong, that's for sure. Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. Well, it's a good thing we have what the eight leaves, one blade style. in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Still, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed. Invade it. What might you be suggesting? The Eddies. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Oh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. <laughs> oh, we've already helped Rude them enough. out. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day, too. Not happening. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. I am honored that you would say so. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait, Smart. I Smart. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. I feel like I recognize Le Guin's voice actress. I can't put my finger on it, but I know, I, Perhaps so. I know I've heard it. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends. I don't think I've heard Bardius. Kind of damn it. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential with them. As do I. I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. That makes sense. I'm like, there's literally everybody from 999 is in this game. Klaus. Please escort them. So we've got Lotus, Junpei, um, Akane. As you wish, Milady. Uh, is Snake in this? 
is Ace in this? Don't answer those. But I think, yeah, I think we're just missing Clover at this freaking point. Perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I mean, Rena's Rena's freaking uh, Santa. I hardly think an old man such as myself. Wow, they would really were the opponents to one of your strength, General. I guess it's around that time when, like, oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped. I didn't play Nine 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 on D on on 3DS or DS. I'm assuming it didn't have voice acting in that version. So when it got ported to other systems that got voice acting into it, like I guess Steam, I'm guessing that's when they, they yeah, I guess it's like the same time this game came out, so it's kind of like around the same More. time, it makes sense. Jeez, what's up with her? <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. Oh, come on, Laura. You're strong in that, girl. We could feel it well enough ourselves, and we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. I wonder who'd win between them and Zeno and Leo. Also, who... Who's the VA for Celine? Good thing this wasn't some kind of undercover job or I would have really screwed this one up. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. <sighs> on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Usus. Once we've done, then we can decide what we're going to do. I feel like I recognize <laughs> Indeed. It. Then let's start heading to Boreahard. If it's who I think it is... Is it Kira Bond? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, she's done a lot of other stuff, too. She's very uh, well known. Time to fix this up. Sword breaker. Giving her she can Pete away from you. Oh okay, actually no, that'd be bad. I gotta keep I keep that. Let's see, I gotta go get some stuff from some guys to the store. Oh, 
much weapons. Oh yeah, I mean, okay, that's interesting. That's pretty funny. Uh, modify ordinance slot. We got here. We got flame tongue, holy breath. That's good to have, actually. Mind one. You can cut one. You can one short. I wanted to put. That's right. I wanted to take a heat off. Put on cast. Breaker. And then put in P here. And we go with her and the uh, passion. Oh, I guess voice breaker. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a quick break because my tailbone's starting to hurt but as soon as i come back we'll be uh we'll continue more of this so this is a good time to get a drink use the bathroom uh get a snack whatever you gotta do and uh, we'll be right back
All right, I'm back. Also, we got a uh, party, so let's do this. Okay. Oh man, she gets a pretty dress. Well, that is some waifu dress right there. Side quest for us. Yeah, she's French now. Hi, right, RC training about two and an Ebel Rebel. And Monster and Ebel Highway. Do this. My turn.
my turn. Second. Now! You're done. My turn. Stealing both criticals. It's really annoying. Sorry, it's what that everyone. is right there. Leave this to me. <laughs> Thank you Here very much. Here goes. Overdrive. Oh, I just didn't want to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. 
Peculiar girl is still here. Oh, no, it's not. Maybe she moved over here. No, it's the merchant. Interesting. Here I go. Second full. Okay. Very well. This one. Now. Leave this to me. Now's our chance. We're open. Here it go. Mike. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. I did it. Nice. You definitely gotta put the alarm. You gotta have that link on. The Lara and Fee link is too good. Fish, fish. This spot looks perfect for fishing. Right here, fishing. Another rock eater, okay. Just being protected by one of these guys over here. Please take care around that one. Nice. May 
guy. This one. Nice. <laughs> Together, Laura and Fee spelled victory. Oh my god, that's so freaking cute. Laura and Fee spells victory. Oh my, what a lovely chest. What a lovely chest. Stay on guard, everyone. That's no ordinary foe. My turn. Leave this to me. With pleasure. Let's move. I'll handle it. You're just the one? Neutralized. Okay. Chest there. Go talk to our boy. And then there's a monster over there. Okay. I spy with my little eye <laughs> the goods. The goods. Here I go. Second. I'll handle it. With pleasure. How My turn. We should keep going. <laughs> uh <laughs> Look at me go! I mean, I A can guarantee you who shifts it. Beautiful. And that would be, uh, Angelica. Angelica definitely ships it. With her included, of course. Alright, uh... Can I put burn? Oh, yes, I can put burn. Let's go. So we've got burn, confuse, and sleep right now. Malamar is sleeping peacefully. Who would Pi pick as a waifu? He would pick Aliza as a waifu, let's be honest. This is a man that tunneled and uh, tunneled Anne in a Persona 5, okay? <laughs> Together, Laura and Fee spell victory. I will always play that line. <laughs> I mean, he made the right choice, is what he did. I mean, Hifumi is a top three wife in that game. In my... In my... Uh, opinion. It's an opinion. Uh, I respect your opinions. I respect all of your opinions. My top three is... Uh, Probably from one, two, and three, Kawatami, Ifumi, Takemi. That's my top three. Now, if you ask me who's my top three, and for including, like, uh, it has to include, like, classmates, that might be a different story. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. My turn. Yeah, Kaw Kaw Kawakami's all pleasure. definitely my good, my number one. Listen, you gotta, you gotta have Becky with the good hair, you know. How about now? Let's 
Let's move. On the start. <laughs> Together, Laura and V spells victory. If they can make a compelling argument, I would listen to it. Yo, Lala Chan, totally underrated. Let's be honest, it should have been Lala Chan that you do that confidant with, not Oya. Oh yeah. Are you sure we should be going up against that thing? Now. Ooh, nice. Nice. I feel strong. Yeah, confident with Lala would have been great. Hi, big boy. The adversary. My turn. God, this battle music is so good. Who has poison? Did I just. I can use somebody poison. I can't roll well. Alright, let's do this. Very well. This won't take long. Now! Got you! With me to the severing no, chain. No, Jets and Brains. That is some Persona shit right there. That is like a Persona 5, like, shit. He's gonna take so much damage. Oh! Fuck you! What is this? Does every boss just have a way to heal and buff? Like, is that just a thing now that I gotta deal with? With pleasure. I could use that tea time right now, honestly. I right, oh, we're overdriving oh, to it. Really, a no, legitimate question. It's just me being frustrated. Very well. <laughs> now. Got you. I mean, that's true. I just okay. kind of hate that he gets uh, to freely like ignore all of my like stuff I did him. Oh, the shared thigh. Oh yeah. Anime thigh. Mm. An opening. Leave this to me. Uh, okay. Nice, the impede went off. Very well. 
I gotta see what tea time is. This is gonna be cute. <laughs> you have my people in the middle of battle. going yeah that I felt bad watching that that's rough you know oh she has Mirage on okay I did it Ooh, true art slash okay success isn't this a surprise Oh man. Well, it's a lot of money. Probably better than just money, but okay. Something. We have we have we have her in the party, right? Yeah, I had a feeling there was nothing she was gonna be bad at cooking. I could certainly use the practice. Peculiar. This is yeah. Pudding. Okay. Restores 100 EP and reco uh, recovers 1500 HP and cures Mew. That's not too bad. Thousands. Is that how bad her cooking is? Also, air attack set, area small, power seem burn 50. That's not bad. I could certainly use the practice. This is off putting. Okay, same thing, but poison, venomous soup. Listening suit. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Recovers 300 HP and just cures abnormal status. It's it's a carrier bomb that also recovers 3,000 HP. Okay. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. It looks great if I. I could certainly use the practice. Proud of this one. That's a good one. Don't blame me if you croak. Huh? This actually looks edible. 
this actually looks edible. Death toll in the thousands. I think it's my favorite, one of my favorite lines so far. Just there. Oh, Aqua Shrine. You know we gotta go there. We didn't go past this point last time, did we? No. But this way leads to Berea Hard. We'll need to stay alert the closer we get then. I'm not fighting these guys before. Let's move. Second form. Very well. How about? Okay. My turn. No escape. That. Let's keep moving. I'm awesome. I'm gonna go around towards the Aqua Shrine. Are you sure we should be going up against that thing? Be like a cuter scene than it wasn't. Huh. Do you recognize this power? I'm afraid not. <sighs> Let's move. Now's our chance. May I? How about Okay. We'll have a lot of training to do. <laughs> chest over here. Oh, yeah. I spy chest. with my little eye. <laughs> Time to clean up this mess. Witness the severing chains. Oh my god, that's great. Together, Laura and Fee spells victory. I feel spells stronger victory. than ever. Ooh, dragon vision. I think that's an SR though. Oh, uh, it's just an R. Okay. Oh, hmm. oh it's pretty much just to take attack off of that.
Alright, shrine time. Now that we have Emma, maybe she'll tell us what these shrines are. And here's the thing, like, that's, like, also in my mind about these shrines. And we were talking about, like, the idea of, like, the elements and the, the, the septarians. Terra is Earth. We had the, the, the Shrine of Wind, and now we have this Aqua Shrine, which is water. And now they're all of a sudden showing up, and they're causing the higher elements to show up? Spirit Shrines. Okay, now we're getting something. Spirit Shrines? Her grandmother mentioned it. So there's something connecting it to the uh, the Divine Knights. We know that. Which makes sense. What a peculiar place. Indeed. The water element seems the most strongly present here. Well, if you're gonna walk around, try not to get yourselves killed. Some... I feel like you said the same thing last time, Celine. There's a, yeah, okay, this doesn't seem like a log one, huh? Listen to that. Okay, nice. Sweet too. Went for flash grenade too, honestly though. Let's move. really good. Great! Isn't this a surprise? Plus the gladiator headband. Oh, okay, this is why it doesn't seem that long. Maybe draining water. Let's 
Next move. Now's our chance. With pleasure. My turn. Okay. May I? My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. All right, let's see what this trial is. Yeah, casual outfits are really good. Lauren Emma. Okay. I welcome all challengers. My turn. Now's our chance. Nice. Not nice. Not nice. Here I go. You have my thanks. Leave this to me. Now's our chance. That's fine. It's my turn. You have my thanks. Onward! Hi, easy. So easy. You should keep going. Ooh, shining R. Okay. Interesting. Shining. I'm guessing speed or evasion. Accuracy and evasion. Yep. That's an evasion that's really high already for her. What do I take off for it? I don't think you can do with the on. Oh, uh, no. Oh, we can take Luminous Ray off actually for it. And I can't. Because. That's annoying. I will figure it out. That accuracy is too good to just like let nothing happen. This will be my turn. My turn. Pleasant surprise. There's a treasure chest here. Okay. Very well. My turn. Okay. It's safe for murder. <laughs> I've only just begun. Radiant blade. Oh my god. Okay, she just mutes things. It's a magic attack, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Got my eye on the prize. Pretty cool that it's a radiant blade, though. Oh, yeah, she needs the speed. Oh my god, does she need the speed. Oh, 
I gotta go this way first. God, the most adorable line in this game. Oh, isn't this it's, a pleasant surprise? It's just There's so hopeful. It I'll handle it. My turn. Second form. Is our real power. Success. <laughs> Look at me go! I'm so glad. Oh, Sam. There, Grand Press, Dark Matter, and makes enemies more likely to notice you. Yep. That off of this. Take flame fun off of you. Are. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm done. And then we'll put scent here. Oh, she already has heat wings. That's not them. We don't want them. Um, heat up them. This one. I'll handle it. Have a lot of training to do. Great. Ha! Water back up. and lies. Second. Now's our chance. With pleasure. This won't take long.
Oh my god, help! Pascal's neutralized. Just, just... Guess we're safe. He, sh he should not Google anything. I really, like, at this point, like... I'm at the point now, if I want to Google something, I'm just gonna, like, contact Ellie, or I'll contact Luigi and be like, Hey, can I get an answer on this without looking something up? Isn't this a surprise? If they even know, because I refuse to Google anymore. These are going to come into play in the second act of this game, probably. That's what I'm imagining. Here's another cutscene of uh, Dracul's. Yeah! Okay, yeah, we're totally seeing flashbacks of Dracul's now, because that's, uh, the, that's the, um... The, uh, the Maiden. Yep. This, there's so many allusions to the past with like, between Gaius and Lara and like, Reen kind of being the Dracul's character. Alongside the Nord. Because Reen is a descendant of Dracul's. And Celine knows it. Celine knows it. Celine knows it. I dude, I Kirby, that's how I that's how I got spoiled about Wazy. I Googled Wazy, and that's how I got spoiled. And it was specifically the line. Wazy's girl sitter outfit. And I was like, you what? Never Google anything. It's so rough, like like I, I wanna like you wanna Google stuff because you wanna read some cool interesting stuff or to refresh about something that you remembered. I recently did that with something from third. I was like, oh, I wanna kinda refresh in my memory about this thing that I don't I haven't played third in a while. And apparently I saw potentially something I didn't want to see. For the future games. Because on the fandom Kaseki, like the Kaseki fandom wikis, uh, even though Trails in this, uh, even though Trails of Cold Steel 4 is not out in the West yet, it didn't stop people from Updating the wiki with information. Apparently there's stuff in third that's gonna pop up in, in four, which is, blows my mind. But I'm mad. Uh, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. I'm not gonna do that to you. I'm not gonna answer. It's best that I don't answer. You know, it's like, I don't want to do that to everyone else. I'll keep it to myself. Am I am I intrigued and want to know what the heck is going on? Absolutely. But, uh, all I know is there's a, yeah, it's like, I just know one thing. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know where, I don't know when. I just know one thing. And that's kind of where I'm at with, like, the, um, Oh, nice. Um, so it's like, uh... 
I'm gonna probably wind up helping Supreme well, with with Zero and Azure, like making sure he's set up with them, with the, the patch and everything, and the, and the, you know, all the stuff he needs. Um, but I'm gonna like bring it up to him that he can either, I'll let him have the, like I'll tell him what his options are for Azure, where it comes to the epilogue. He can either skip the epilogue and just not watch the spoilers for CS2. Or, he can see the spoilers like I did, like a lot of people did. Because, let's be fair, the spoiler for the end of this game that we saw in um, the, the end of Crossbell Art, it doesn't answer the how, the why, the when, the where. It doesn't answer any of that. You just know one thing. That, that we just know that, that Gilead Osborne gets shot, but doesn't die. They think he's dead, he comes back, they win, Crossbow gets taken over for two years. It seems like a big spoiler on paper. But it doesn't answer the fact that, like, oh shit, Fro shot him? Crow shot him when they were going to declare war on Crossbell. A bunch of the other underlying problems that we're seeing here. Like, it seems like a big spoiler on paper, but in reality, it's it's not that big of a spoiler. It's kind of a spoiler, but it's also like... It doesn't answer any questions. Like, I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know, like, what it's going guard, to really everyone. happen. I just know That's that... No ordinary foe. Yeah, all we can do is trust them. All I know is that at the end of this arc, or at some point, Crossbell gets taken over for two years as Narabonian province. Or something like that. I don't know if it's a province, but... But they get taken over. How that happens? Got no idea. When it happens? Got no idea. How much does Reen have to play into it? I have no idea. Going. Yeah, it's like I'm not like I'm not too worried about having seen that spoiler. Like ha not having seen like the end of Crossbell. Like I, it, it definitely has me hooked actually more to see what's happening, what's gone. This will be over. Okay. And let's be honest, like he's not playing. He's not gonna be playing the game like I do. Where I am power, I am kind of power throwing it all. Like I'm just going through a ton of it. With pleasure. He's gonna take breaks in between games. How about My turn. You still have a lot of training to do. Oh, that's that's rough. <laughs> Look at me go. Yeah, I'm glad I did not have that spoiled for me. That is one of my all-time favorite the reveals. The treasure chest is absolutely beautiful. Like that reveal is is that reveal sets up every reveal in trails. Like without that reveal, whoo. uh, he's no four will definitely be out by the time he gets to CS3. Honest, actually. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think that's going to happen, because he's going to take a break in between each arc. Like, he'll do two, and then he'll do three, and then he's going to take a break. Then he'll come back for Crossbell, and then he's going to take a break. Then he's going to come back for Steel 1-2, and then I don't know if he jumps from two into three immediately. He might take a break and then do three, four. That's how I, that's how I think he's going to, that's how it's going to happen. But I'm excited, you know, because I'm I'm Please very excited that, that people one. are uh, that are playing this game. You know, I'm I'm very happy that uh, this series is getting some more recognition. 
from people that I, I definitely trust their opinions on, too. Oh boy, very hard. That doesn't look good. Yeah, why Emma is back. What's up, Extremity? God, this heat is killing me. Also, I got that casual outfit too on Emma. It looks pretty cute. Oh no. You guys, you guys gotta stop. You guys gotta stop him. Does she have her sickle out? Because that would suck. Because if she's got the sickle out, then yeah, that's a problem. Let's don't Google anything with this series. Just don't do it. Just don't, just don't do it. Is absolutely beautiful. Just don't Google. There's gonna be a fishing spot here. Ooh, this spot looks this. perfect for fish. I hope he has a bad memory too. Because there's only one person you can blame when you Google things, and that's yourself. Not what I had in mind. Like I said, I wish <laughs> I could. Uh, I don't have a. I don't have a bad memory. Which makes things a problem. Yeah, print no, that is that is the golden rule. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Oh, I can press X to catch. I don't have to press square. Okay, that's I did not know that. Not bad. Oh good, that's good to admit you know, it, because uh, there's some stuff in, in Azure that's like... That, like, it sets it up in zero, but like, you don't see it coming. Like I said, I, I still... I still think Azure might be my favorite game so far. Which is why I hope eventually we get a very good translation, because the mechanics of the game are so good. The characters are, like, all around, really good. Yeah, that game is just hype. It's so much, it's just, it is everything I want. Without, like, the exception of where Cold Steel has giant robots. I'll handle it. Where I like having the giant robots, you know? My turn. But like that game, uh, even the stuff I don't like, like the beach episode, I can still kind of look past. Leave this to me. 
Blade of Light! Oh, oh that's what you're looking for. Open! Fall! I try to tell people whenever <laughs> I suggest Lauren this series, I'm like, there are nine games, a tenth one's coming out in Japan, and they are all deeply connected. I feel stronger than it. Things that seem like just a, a throwaway in one game could actually come back five games later as something that's really important. They did. They have a very good job of just meticulously keeping the details of everything. Oh, my favorite character right now of all of Trails? That's a hard question. That's like a re That's a very, very hard question. Uh. Um... I, I I don't know if I have an answer for that. It's just it's like hmm. I don't even think Kingdom Hearts is the closest to it because they have no organization for their story or their ideas, and a lot of the stuff that's it's just filler. Like get like don't get me wrong, I I enjoy Kingdom Hearts, but you can't tell Kingdom Hearts three isn't like eighty percent filler. The real stuff you want is in the last, like, 10% of the game. Everything before that just feels like filler material that I don't care about. Suikoden is connected in that it's got... It has characters that do show up in each game. There are events that are referenced in each game. The problem with Sweet Coden is is the timeline's kind of wishy-washy. And by that I mean like where Trail starts at FC, it always advances in time. There's never been a game where it's like, we're a prequel. We're going back before Trails in the Sky. Which is what I don't want. I don't want that. I don't care about that. I want to see the world evolve more. And Sweet Coden does that for the first three games. Hmm. It goes in, in progression, time progression. It's a certain amount of time in between each game. And the fourth game happened. Where it just jumped 150 years in the past and I didn't care. There were some cool things there. But it wasn't really all that great. And then 5 was good, but 5 was a lot closer to the timeline of 1. But it's still a prequel. But there are some characters you get to see that are younger that you actually do care about. I mean, 4 is not, like, I... It's hard for me to say that 4 is just a, an awful game. It's just not, it's just the, it's, it's the weakest entry in the series, that's all. Oh, there's probably a ton of spoilers. Just Google it, just searching between character and, and Trails of Sky 1. Yeah, that's like, I think, I definitely, I definitely agree with that. I think, and that's what we were talking about with, uh, with Supreme, was like, if, if we were to get Pi to play these games, I don't think he would stick with it if he started with Trails in the Sky FC. I don't think he would. I think he would get very bored, and maybe by the end he would like it, but realize it's a very large time investment, and like, this game started really slowly. Uh, where I think as if he started with Cold Steel, he would actually enjoy this, like, these two, like, uh, at least one and two. He wouldn't get something, but it's not, there's not a ton of references you're gonna miss just based on these two games. And that's the thing, is it's hard, okay. it kind of feels like it's definitely hard to go back. Cold steel and go back and play Trails in the Sky. Very well. If that makes sense. How about this? Here I go. Clear. Now we're chip. My turn. We should keep going. Success. 
the quality of life as the series as like the series went on is just kind of too good to go back on. Oh my! What a lovely chest! We have nothing to fear. Here I go. Second floor. Now. Yeah, exactly. He would bail as soon as he realizes there's no voice acting. This won't take long. And he would have to read. too long and that's the thing though is like I don't think he I don't know how much games he actually plays off stream mainly because like streaming is his living I did it and that's and I was like afraid to say that before like and, and when we were talking about super Prince like I can understand why it's his job like this is a career so you have to look at the numbers, and you have to look at, like, you have to look at, like, how how financially viable streaming a game is. Let's say he, like, like I mean, Pokemon Randomite, like, doing the, doing the Iron Mons averaging, like, let's say 1.2 to 1.5k viewers. That's really good. Let's say he's doing that four nights a week, and he's averaging those viewers. And then even in Mafia, he's getting, like, 800, 900. If he does cold, if he does uh, one Trails in the Sky game, 50 hours, and he's getting, I would guess to me he would probably be pulling five to six hundred viewers. There's no way he's gonna play nine games in a series with 500 to 600 viewers. I and that's kind of the, the that's and I get it. I I understand that. I don't think that's a, I don't I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's why I understand why these games would not be viable. For him. If it was an all stream thing, I could see that working. But you know, it's just people like me and Supreme. We're not. This is our this is our career. We just like to do this for fun, or like you know, there's some slight like you know. I'm definitely doing it for fun, like enjoying, you know, sharing the experience with people. If this was my career, then maybe it would be different. Advantage is ours. Let's finish. Okay. It's just, it's such a niche, it's such a niche market. Here I go. Second foot. Now's our chance. With pleasure. This one. Onward! You still have a lot of training to do. Oh, bottom of that fight. It is. I mean, it is. I, I think. I think it's it's interesting because. Uh, I think that's what a lot of story-based games are, right? That's what that's what a lot of story-based games are. Uh, speedrunning isn't necessarily sharing the experience of a game. That's like it's that's a little different. Like or like um, uh, like a challenge run isn't really sharing the experience. It's it's kind of it's 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 interesting. Like, I'm a JRPG guy. This is my genre. I love my... Like, this is my favorite genre of video games. This is what I want to play. I don't think I could ever see myself as, like, a... Uh, as, like, any other kind of game streamer. Like, I'll play some indie games and stuff like that. But you're not going to see me playing Apex Legends. You're not going to see me stream Warzone. You're not going to see me stream, like... Uh... You'll see me stream fighting games, though. I'll stream fighting games, because I'm a f I love fighting games. That's my like second favorite genre of video game. 
but yeah. It's just a really, it's just a, such a niche market, and then you have, like, and that's the problem with, like, games like this, is like, halt. As, as much as it pains me, I hate that Twitch really does not seem to want to emphasize their VOD system. The highlights. Things that, like, make following people that play RPGs easier, because, you know, there's a reason I highlight things, I add them to the collection A immediately after I'm done streaming, and I spam them on Twitter, and I definitely keep everything up to date on all my platforms. Because I know, if you generally miss part five of, like, you know, day five of, of, a tr of an RPG stream, you're not maybe going to be inclined to watch day six without watching day five first. Are you trapped? You could say that, yes. We came here from the Gram. Would it be possible for us to enter the city? What? I mean, I think that's what? depending on the game you play. Not like, every day um, we see guys like you. Why didn't you just use the train? Like, there are some games where, like, I can tell that this RPG, <laughs> like, this part of the Much RPG is filler. To. The wait for the next one was simply too long. Because, let's be honest, not... Thanks to the even the RPGs are not immune from having filler. Anymore. We found it was actually faster to come by foot. Hmm. Well, if you say so. You can enter, but we're going to need to check if any of you are on our wanted list first. I... dude... I know. I, the fact that they got rid of the room system, which was great for spoiler chats. Like, I don't know why they got rid of that system. I thought that was bad. We still have reason to believe that there are people messing out there with the bonds the is, is also awful. Can't be too careful. Let's I feel see. bad that I'm gonna be putting a good emote behind a tier twos, but like they're all good. Like I, I have six emotes on the way. This is good. And uh, one of them is really good. Emma. And unfortunately, the I way I see it, it's gonna have to sit behind a tier two. Me. She took the glasses off. Could I ask you to look into my eyes for a moment? Please? Is she Jedi mind trick them? I mean, okay, real quick. They probably got rid of it because not a lot of people used it, but that doesn't mean they should get rid of features that people do use. Like, I feel like it was more work to get rid of it than it was work to keep it. Huh? That's an odd request. She's gonna freaking hypnotize them. Uh, these are not the students you're looking for. What the? Huh? We're just common travelers, and we aren't on that list of yours. <laughs> Jedi mind tricking them right now. Which means we can pass, right? You may pass. Hm. Why are you still standing there? Go along. Just don't go causing any trouble. Unless you want to find yourselves arrested. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Shall we be going? Oh my god. It's just yeah. Jedi mind trick them. They love us. You have never seen four students before. Uh, we're gonna have to go into the sewers again, aren't we? I, I need to know more about this Hexen Coven. I want to meet her grandma. I wonder where they even stay. Like, where is the Witch's Coven even at Erebonia? Don't answer that. That's Miles only. Oh boy. Yeah, we can't go in there, that's for sure. Gotta hook up her grandma with Gwyn. It's like, it's like Masaroshi and Baba. <laughs> Yeah, they do cast his son, K. 
captive, of course. Is this the first time we're seeing Duke Albarea? I think this is. I don't know, we saw him The once. Noble Alliance's advantage in this war remains overwhelming as We saw him once in, in Cold Steel 1. Rufus has achieved much in his position as Chief of Staff as well. But the fact remains, that fool Kayan is still the one with the most influence and power. Something must be done about this. But what? How? So that was your line of thinking when you sent those Jaegers to Ymir, was it? You moved to take Princess Alfin into your custody and use her to replace Duke Kayan as Supreme Commander of the Alliance. Well, there's Usus. Do you have something you want to say to me, Usus? You seem very unhappy about the fact I sent him to the hometown of one of your classmates. Not at all, Father. However, I do believe my brother also expressed disapproval of those actions. I humbly ask that you think twice before interfering with any neutral powers in the future. And I would suggest you think twice before involving yourself in matters that are no concern to you. You remember having good dad? Because now we got bad dad. Focus on the work you have been given and leave me to do mine. And yeah, I, I'm glad, like, they didn't try to retcon witches into anything stupid. I apologize for speaking out of turn. At least they haven't yet. I must think of something that will allow me to seize his position. <laughs> I can't allow that pompous hell to call himself the Alliance's supreme. That Commander coming from you, here. I don't know how I feel about that phrase. Hmm. I may need to reconsider how Rufus should be acting in his position as well. Uh, man, I, we gotta rest uses. Oh, there's a lot to go. Okay, uh... Let's go the tailors. Oh, nothing is... Okay, everything sucks. Of course, they're being taxed to hell. <laughs> Man, this, uh, this feels very, uh, uh, very topical. Before everything shut down, of course. I, I, I had people that would be like, talk about how good the economy is for us, but they were paying everything on credit. And they do a good job of making characters that are just likable and dislikable very well. Whether they're noble or not, you know? Alright, there's a student here, I guess. Alright, when do we run into Anton? That's the good question. I haven't feel like we haven't seen Anton in a while.
Did I? I actually miss him in CS1? Aww. That's unfortunate. So, like, is it. I, I mean, this is fine to answer. They, when you see Anton in CS1, is that before or after he's. and he finds himself in Crossbell? I, yeah, I would think it's before, which is interesting. Oh, hey! Andre! That might be a thing I Google, is Anton CS1. Hopefully it don't get spoiled in some way. Pancakes. It's Fee's cooking power hour. You can try eating it if you want. Arox for it in chapter two. Wow. It's funny that I mention it while we're in Gray, which is near Arox for it in CS uh, in CS2. Also, defense plus fifty. That's really good. Get right to work. This is some of my finest culinary work. Mobu souffle pancake. They move a hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. Are you gonna tell me that Emma is the master of cooking pancakes? I really hope you'll like it. Oh, it's a moist pumpkin cake. Yeah. But the good stuff on that actually arts up. What sort of EP and HP? That is pretty funny. Did you just say sauteed calf? Hi, this guy right here has a slight inclination of feeling bad that he's profiting off of war. Okay. Sure you feel bad. Well, these nobles all suck.
Everyone feels like they found a way to pat this out as to, uh... Make this feel longer, like going to more places. Okay. There's nothing going on here. What else is left? Uh, there's the cathedral. Creepy. Oh my god. Millium Sprite with the uh, fade out eyes with the monocle is adorable. She's crying tears of well, just black tears. That's just that's creepy. It's, that's creepy. Uh, that's really creepy. That's creepy. Black, I don't know. Oh. Oh, we're going uh, under, under, and yeah, we're going. Okay. My 
turn. You still have a lot of training to do. <laughs> I've only Got just a surprise. <laughs> Look at me go! <laughs> oh my! What a lovely chest! Oh, green pendulum. Oh, we're starting to get into these, uh, these points. Sleep Nightmare Confuse. Right there, perfect. Be looking at any of them. I can't even right now. I wouldn't be looking at a single one of them. It's a bad idea. Ring it up. My turn. Let's move. Set. Now for chance. With pleasure. This one. Onward. We should keep going. Great! I feel stronger! Now we're gonna fight some here. We're gonna cryptid. Oh, it's a big one of these boys. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of really bad vocab in some of them. I've seen that before. Now's our chance. Here we go. Nice. They're off guard! Broken! 
great. Done. Hm. Not bad. Isn't this a surprise? I'm awesome. I feel stronger than ever. Everybody got to level up. Loss of balance. Huh. I also like the fact that they fast travel us right back to the, uh, the, where we can turn it in. Death blows, so I want that. Who does prevent death blows? Okay, I'll probably change here. Okay. God, I'm just such a tank. I'm gonna take another break, but I want to keep playing because I want. It's like it's Friday night. We got, you know, we got time, and I wanna, I wanna get to use this and finish this like part out. But I don't know if we'll be able to finish it out. But I'll give it like another two hours. So scrap in, go grab more water. I'm gonna grab more water myself. Use the bathroom. Get a snack. I'm gonna take a quick break and then we'll be back.
Hi, thanks Zeke for the raid. Sorry, buddy. I uh went to grab a snack and I got some more iced tea actually instead of water. Got me some green tea. But thanks for the raid, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I got me uh some peanut butter cookies I had uh lying around. Let me do something real quick. Okay. Bring this back up. And yeah. Thanks, man. And we're doing uh, more cold steel. Whew. Man, it's, I don't know about you guys, but it's hot today. I don't know if you guys are having a heat wave where you're at, but it is feeling like summer. Ah. Yeah, man, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Usually this is like the time I would be cutting the stream, but we're going a little bit longer tonight. Because it's Friday night, and uh... I'm trying to I'm trying to finish this uh, part out of the uh, act. Yeah, it was like 85 today, which is like silly. 
Where am I going here? I'm gonna go this way. Came from yeah. yeah, 80. I was like, I think it was like 85 here. Just uh, not ready for the heat, you know. I like, I'll get used to it, but oh. Reese is a cutie pie. You're not wrong there. I love Reese. She is uh, definitely a cutie pie. Fun fact: I'll give you a teaser. Uh, Reese is going to be one of the emotes I have commissioned. Oh, I can't afford that, but I want it. I mean, I could theoretically afford it. Theoretically, I could afford it, but I'm not going to. Uh, it is, it is Reed's Nom. It is, it is, uh, it is Nom. And it is bread she is eating. And it is, I saw the sketch, and the sketch is adorable. I love it. So I am hoping they'll be ready soon. I'm not, you know, I, I, I've, I've seen the sketches. Uh, the person who's working on them is working on them, so, you know, they'll be ready when they're ready. Also, what up, Colette? character trait is uh, adorable, just like she is. Yeah, I mean, third is a great. Third is re I really love third. Hmm? Is something wrong, Sharon? <laughs> oh no, not at all. <sighs> what? What's that all about? Oh no. I have to find missing cat. Man, we always gotta find missing cats. <laughs> oh, always find cats. Should be fishing spot over here, I thought. Central Plaza. Oh no, of course, we gotta go to the people with the dog. Arf, arf. That filthy kitten of a dad approach us.
Right, I forgot about this place. Oh, that's not good. Five U materials, not bad. Yeah, man. No, third is a very third is a very dark game, and it sets. It, it really puts. Uh, it puts the Grawl Setter in a very interesting, like, pre not predicament, but like where the uh, the Septium Church is. Up until Kevin is, I mean, Kevin's introduced in second. In, uh, in SC, but you really don't get the full understanding of his character until Please, third. Take care around that one. And you really don't get a full understanding of the Grawl's Ritter until I third. I spy with my little eye. And the whole it's fact of the Dominion and um, this one's dangerous. their stigmas and how dark their backgrounds are. Okay. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very dark. The treasure game. chest is absolutely beautiful. Ooh, petrify. Salim is just talking to people, random people. Oh man, uh, if I recall, I think they like actually like I was looking at the cutting room floor, and I think Rena's star door is actually like there was a lot of cuts made to it that um, I think either the one they cut was less dark, or maybe I think it was more dark. I can't remember, but I just know that that's one of the darkest things. Prismatic cape. Ooh, arts plus 15 entrance confused. Okay. Fire 
Fortune, I already have Green Pendulum on that, so Emma, you're gonna get this. Station Street. And if you're the hotel. Why it's Norton? It's really, uh, definitely one of the darkest parts. There was nothing really I could do. Anything that restores CP is something I want to know. I could certainly use the practice. Anything that heals CP. If I brought Elisa with me, this would have been a, a scene, probably. Celine had a, a bit of a, a mockious moment there. Jesus. <laughs> it wasn't my voice. 
Central Plaza. We're in advance. Let's Could have done to have higher CP, but whatever. Check out the airport. This is actually cool shit. This is the first time we've actually been able to check out an airport in Trails. Like, and then, like, in a uh, Cold Steel series, at least. I mean, I mean, the airport's all over a live roll. Getting on the ship right now. I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> there is a lot, yes, there is a lot between the Star Doors and Zero Out. That's why, like, me and Ellie, a lot of people say, oh, you don't need to play fair, you can skip it. One, it's a great story, I don't know why you would skip it. It might be my favorite in the Sky FCSC third like arc like the three of them it might be my favorite. It's a it's a bridge epilogue of of like SC hmm. and it does a lot with the Star Doors to set up Frostbell to set up Arabona to set up stuff like Kilika it like leaving um, Kilika like leaving the embassy. Are leaving the, the bracers. It's not eventual, I'm sure, but there's a lot of stuff it does. It sets up Lecter. Right. That's where you first like Lecter's introduced in the Star Door. Rena's past, which as if you look back on it, Rena's past introduces the the the, the cult, the the DG. You don't know it then, but like looking back on it, you're like, oh shit, that's the introduction of DG, a cult. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, exactly. When you first watch it, DG Cult pops up. You don't really make any connections. But then you play uh, Zero and Out, and it's like, oh, well, okay, this makes a lot of sense. Seeing Lecter for the first time, you're like, oh, shit. Goliath, I think Osborn is not seen, but I think he's mentioned in the Star Doors, I'm pretty certain. There's a chest over here. I guess this is the hold? It's awfully spacious for one. is here. Mine's here. Can't take Soul Blur off. Unless I wanted to do it. I'm doing feet actually. I might take sleep off actually. Sleep for free. Oh, actually, 
head move. Heal up? No. I only have three on her. I want to be there. I like blind instead of sleep. You have poison, petrify, and mute. I can take mute off actually for sleep. But yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's seen, it's sprites really weird, because it's, they weren't like, it was before they fleshed them out, of course. Yeah, I mean, like, the whole Lecter, like, scene, and all, oh man, like, there's the whole scene uh, that's like, Chloe expressing her love for Joshua. Oh my god, that's such a good scene. That's a that's a good scene right there. I just... I love all of Third Stories. They're so interesting. The lore behind them is so neat. And, like, it's, and that's like a good job of world building, you know? And it's just a really good job of like... Showing a lot of these characters off. Um, there's the whole thing with Annalise versus Richard. There's um, the whole Tita family, like the whole Russell family. You get to see Tita's parents. You certainly took your time. Hi, Yusis. <gasps> Yusis! I suspect. Alright, we're gonna have to fight Yusis. What's going on here? How long did you intend to make me wait? I have wondered whether you would even bother to show up. Yes, she was. Nice to see you too, Yusis. Uh, you whereas know how many you made us jump through just to get here, right? That's the crazy thing, and this is kind of like where um, I'm trying to think of like like how like how happenstance works, right? Imagine Ren was the one rescued by uh, Guy Bannings, and Tia was the one rescued by uh, by Joshua and Lo. And then brought into Ouroboros. What a mind blow that would have been. If Tia was an Ouroboros. Also, yes. Best Lara costume. I love this one. There are eyes everywhere in this city. Would have drawn too much attention for you to come here directly. That was just my way of looking out for you. Perhaps you could try thanking me. Okay! Rip million. Because you were trying to hug me, obviously. Oh, come on. You know you want to. <sighs> Swerve completely out of the way. <laughs> At least you're well. That's what matters. It really is great to see you. The same to you. I'm impressed you were able to overcome the many ordeals you've no doubt faced to make it this far. But should I be surprised, I wonder? I've always had high expectations of you. <laughs> I doubt I would have been able to come this far if not for everyone's help, though. Still, thanks, Yusis. <laughs> this means that all of Class 7 is finally together again. And I couldn't be more overwhelmed with joy. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've been a tremendous part of making this happen. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> 
I haven't the foggiest idea what Sharon is doing here, but I suppose it doesn't matter right now. <laughs> he's not this coming is... with. I mean, he's gonna tell us he's not coming with. I've been kept abreast of your activities through the Noble Alliance's information network. So I'm well aware you've abreast. been fighting their forces across the land using that ash-colored knight of yours. As well as the fact that you've chosen not to ally yourselves with the Imperial Army, but instead fight as a third faction. <sighs> I mean, we haven't fully made that decision the quite yet. Getting around that, much? that said, I didn't arrange for us to meet like this just to see one another again. I did so that I could make the difference between our respective positions crystal clear. What do you mean? I see. You have no intention of coming with us, do you? No. This is a joke, right? Huh? You surely saw this coming. I'm the son of one of the most influential figures in the Noble Alliance. And as I imagine you're already aware, I've been assisting him and his provincial army in fighting this war. Well, we know. But is this what you believe to be your duty as a noble? Meanwhile, my brother is acting as the Alliance Forces Chief of Staff, and as for my father, he was responsible for hiring Jaegers to attack Ymir, which is not only your home, but the home of all the kind-hearted people who welcomed me with open arms earlier in the year. <sighs> Man, Eustace's dad almost killed our dad. I can only apologize. If I'd returned home earlier, then perhaps... No. I don't even have the right to do that much. Yet with that in mind, it should be clear that we can't go back to the way things were. The gulf between us is simply too vast to be filled. Our paths have parted. That is reality. Ah, uh, is Reen gonna, like, slap yeah. him? It doesn't and, like, have talk to be like to this, Eusis. <sighs> I will guarantee you safe passage out of the city. If you deem it necessary, I can even have you escorted out by car. However, once you're out, we can no uses. I can understand why you feel somewhat responsible for what happened in Ymir. I can understand why you, as an Alborea, feel as though certain things are inherently expected of you. Actually, I should probably tell you that Dad woke up the other day. All that's left is for him to get his stamina back now. He'll make a full recovery. That's... that's good news. I would have liked to pay him a visit myself. But... with circumstances as they are... Oh, don't worry about it. I'm not telling you that to make you feel guilty. I'm telling you because I don't want that to be your reason for what you're doing. Pardon? What I want to know is what you want to do, and the path you want to take. If you want to help your family because you agree with the ideals of the Noble Alliance, I won't stop you. But if that's not what you want to do, if you're only helping because you feel like you have to for whatever reason, if you're doing it because you feel responsible for what happened to my dad, which, by the way, you aren't, or if you're doing it because as much as you want to come with us, you feel like you don't have the right to, then you're nothing more than a coward who's running away. And I don't believe that's how a real Erebonian noble should act. They should do what they believe is right, and do it with pride. If Dad was here now, he'd say the same thing. Ugh. Man, Irene spitting truth bombs at, uh, at Yeah, Yusuf's. this isn't like you at all! We're only students, still learning more about the world around us. Alone, we don't have the experience or knowledge to go around proposing solutions to the conflicts in this country, not to the war going on around us, nor to the class divides that started it. But that's alone, and that's why I think we all need to come together as a class again. Yeah, it's a good one. We're all inexperienced, <laughs> but we all come from different backgrounds and social standings, and we it's each have like unique the experiences to share. Music. It's only by pulling those together that we can overcome whatever life throws at us. Man, get this man a soapbox. It's worked for us during every one of our field studies. Why? <sighs> He's right, Eusis. Indeed. Reen had to remind me of that too, you know. It's always nerve-wracking for those of us who have to watch you pull crazy stunts all the time, I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. I... <laughs> I see my suspicions were dead on. No matter the circumstances, you've always been the one to blow away my hesitations. Then you'll come with us? 
Still, no matter what you say, I am an Alborea, and as such, I have duties and responsibilities to fulfill. You, if you are determined come not to back to party, down. Come on. Then we will have to settle this with a duel, just as you and Crow did one month ago. A duel? Follow me, Reed. Our destination is Aurox Canyon. There, we shall settle this matter once and for all. All right, I gotta kick his ass to get him on the party. Let it be. Uh, yep. There's the, uh... I wasn't counting on this. Peculiar girl. I'd only intended to gather information on the Crimson Wings. And yet here I am. Bearing witness to such a compelling scene. This is peculiar. I've no duty to report anything I see to Duke Alborea. But I suppose there isn't any harm in watching how things unfold. Oh, was this the, um, the Ouroboros chick? <sighs> the girl from Ouroboros? Yeah, because that's McBurn. Look at this Do man's cotton want. candy hairstyle. I'll just chains. go kill time in town or something. Oh no, not this time. You're coming with me, and that's that. Yeah, this is definitely Ouroboros. I'm here to support you, not babysit you. You're the one with a number, not this, me. This man Try wearing a Dante like jacket this. from Devil May Cry. Fine, fine. What a pain. There's a familiar face among them, so this might not be a total waste of time. Familiar for Sharon? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. I wonder what he would say if Sharon wasn't here. That's interesting. I have a feeling McBurn is a very popular character with, uh, with the ladies. Yo, our Orma bike? Yes. Isn't this Angelica's bike? Uh, you mean your bike. I thought she entrusted it to you after she withdrew, Ring. What in the world is it doing here? I made use of my family's influence to have it brought here from the Academy. Wait, are we dueling as in racing? Since then, it's been left in the hands of a skilled mechanic, so it's been well maintained. You will be riding that for our duel. You mean our duel will be a race between me on this bike and you on that horse? Yeah, we're winning this easy. Oh god. I mean, he looks Partially. pretty cool. The finish line will be the plateau where we fought that monster during our field study. Once there, we shall begin a sword fight to determine the victor. Oh, Whoever that... arrives first will therefore have the advantage of more time to prepare. That's silly. Oh. We did stuff like that back in the core too. We called them chase battles. That does sound quite similar. Okay. This feels so a lot like uh, with us, right? the race in a in a in a jour. You're not backing out. Correct. In the unlikely event that you defeat me, I will concede and go with you. But know this: I have absolutely no intention of holding back. That bike of yours may have the advantage in terms of. Do not expect this. Oh, I won't. I'll be coming at you with. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we'll have to simply stand aside and see what unfolds. Right. We'll go and take up places along the course to watch. In that case, I will signal when to begin. Rest assured, I wouldn't dream of giving either party an unfair advantage. That works for me. How about you, Yusis? Very well. Let's begin. Alright. Go get it. Won't let you. Okay. Accelerate, brake, adjust. Okay. I'm ready, Yusis. As they actually I. gave you controllable. Now demonstrate bike. to me the strength of your resolve. All right. Three, two, one. Begin. <laughs> Gas, gas, gas. Oh, step on the gas. Go, go. Oh, 
What? Oh, he's here! Come on, Lammy! Let's go after him! You stay where you are. Take a left here. Use this path here. Everyone's really into this. It's not what a motorbike is supposed to do. The point doesn't go off-roading. No, we're going again. Three, two, one. Begin! Go, go! Oh, he's here! Come on, Lammy! Let's go after him! You stay where you are. Take a left here. Use this path here. Everyone's really into this. There. And Jalgo would be disappointed. It's not an off-road bike, though. Yes, I won. The advantage is mine. You Let's settle. No matter. A handicap like this will hardly pose a problem for me. Come at me. Let's do it. My turn. All right. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Oh, we both kind of did the Here same thing. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm sorry, everyone. I got frozen. What was I supposed to do? Come at me. I, got, I got frozen. What? I'm just getting. Now's our chance. Let's move. No, you're here. Can I not be frozen, please? I'm sorry, everyone. <sighs> That's twenty two freezes in a row. This is this kind of sucks. Come at me. Let's move. Where's that CP? I have this. I have to have at least a CP. Here we are. Huh. That's pretty good. Let's steal that critical. 
There we go. Uh -huh. Hey, okay. that was, yeah, that's annoying if he just decides to freeze you. Looks like I win this one. I should have expected no less. It's hard to believe how much your swordsmanship has improved in such a short period of time. Easy every time. Don't sell yourself short, Eusis. If I'd held back even a little, I'd be the one kneeling on the ground right now. Your skills really shone through, both in the race and our duel. <laughs> the victory is well and truly yours, Reen. Reen! Are you both all right? Now he gets funny glasses? I mean, he'll get glasses. Oh. Hey, guys. Well, who he'll won? He'll probably get a... Uh, Looks like we've got a winner. He'll probably get Rimless glasses. <laughs> the verdict should be plainly obvious. Yeah, I managed to scrape through. It was pretty close, though. I mean, Yusuf is a good boy. Hmm. Was it? Cut off hand. Does that mean he'll come back? I fought with all my might. I performed to the very best of my abilities, holding nothing back. And even then, I couldn't compare to your strength and resolve. With that, I, the path I should take is the same as yours. <laughs> About time. We're happy to have you with us, of course. We'll find yeah, the answers. This is definitely together. like so much together, better than Machias. We'll bring. Cro you can count on me. Starting today. I am a member of Class 7 once again. I'll show my father and brother just how I believe one bearing the name Alborea should live. That's cool. We're gonna have boss fights soon, though. Like, very soon. <laughs> uh, I feel like, probably there's now. There's nothing to feel embarrassed about. This is just part of how we are as a class. There are some things you learn only by directly confronting those you care about. I know this. You and I both know a thing or two about that, don't we, Fee? Sure do. <laughs> Congratulations. I suppose now is the best time to start thinking about what to do next. <laughs> I wouldn't celebrate your paltry victory just yet. Who was that? Up there. Or a Boris theme. There she is. Yep, wearing the uh, Stahlritter outfit. Who are they? One of them is wearing armor. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Cool thing, she can float. Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. I'm afraid I've come to thoroughly put a damper on your reunion. I hope you don't mind. She knows us? Just who? <laughs> well, at least one among you should already be familiar with me. But it wouldn't hurt to introduce myself for the benefit of the others. I am a lady after all. A peculiar girl. Duvali, that's it. My name, name is Duvali. Duvali. I'm the head knight of the Stalriter, an esteemed group led by Ouroboros' mm -hmm. seven angles in all her glory. And it is by her order that I have come here today. So does that make her an, an enforcer? Or is the guy that confuses me? You're with Ouroboros? So the Steel Maiden sent you, did she? Ugh, looks like our luck just ran out. Yeah, well, the Steel Maiden's in a... Uh, Might I in, ask uh, if the Stall Ritter is somehow related to the Eisen Ritter? The name is eerily similar. Even their only difference in name is related. With Iron What's your question, steel Kirby? Oh, uh, well, my allergic question? Oh, uh, I... I don't think it's a legit question. Like, there's so many, like, the, the Anguises and then the people underneath the Anguises, they're usually enforcers, but, like, the seventh Anguis is different. She has her own, like, posse. Oh, you're the Arsaid, aren't you? <laughs> are you curious? Hmm? I'll bet you are. Well, I'm not going to tell you. You know what I do to people who don't tell me things? You know, don't tell me the lore? We fight them. <laughs> Does it bug you? Does it? 
Alright. Is this just Falcom taunting the, the player? Your curiosity is going to build and yeah. eat away you until you can't even sleep at night. This is exactly uh this is exactly Falcom writing to the player. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Is she really with Ouroboros? I'm not quite that curious. Beat the lore out of her. Yeah, I did dance with them. I wouldn't want to pressure you into discussing something you aren't comfortable sharing. Is it time to dance with, uh... Is it time to dance with, uh, Diwali? Hold on a minute! For Duvali? I don't pronounce it. There's no point in pretending you don't care. I know full well you do! She doesn't act like it, but there's no doubting she's extremely powerful. <laughs> Indeed, she may not be an enforcer, but not. Okay, so she's not an enforcer. Okay. Although the power of a man beside her is even more frightening. <clears throat> Leaving that aside for the moment. <laughs> I've already introduced myself. It's only proper for you to do- Ugh! Why are you still up there? Get down here right this instant! <laughs> that- this is good. It's funny. <sighs> what do you need me for? You can handle them just fine yourself. Oh, for goodness sake! You're supposed to be number one! Would it kill you to even put the tiniest bit of effort into your job? He's enforcer number one? Number one? And he's an enforcer just like Sharon and Phantom Thief B. Uh oh. Indeed. Uh oh, he's one? I happen to be number nine. An enforcer's number is not in any way indicative of their combat prowess. But by coincidence, his may actually be so. He's easily among the strongest in Ouroboros. That's yeah, not even good. The strongest. <laughs> Never tried fighting Steel to see which one of us gets the top spot, though. That race before was kind of fun to watch, so let's see what you got. Uh oh. Just straight up McBurn. The name's McBurn. Some call me the Almighty Conflagration. The Almighty Conflagration. This guy is like Seal. It's it's a uh, it's Bono. And talk is cheap. I hate conversations that just drag on and on. So let's skip to the good part, okay? He would have fit really well in Cross Bell. Oh, oh, that's not good. The power radiating from him is incredible. What are those flames? Oh, shall we begin? I'm not My feeling sweet good. Swordsman. To me by my illustrious lord, the Steel Maiden. I think we're about to get our asses kicked. And you haven't a chance in hell withstanding it. I've gone to the trouble of coming down here. Do me a favor and try lasting a minute before you call it quits. Your arrogance, give them everything you've got. Of course. We're gonna get bodied. Don't die too easy. Now, now draw your weapons. <laughs> That's annoying. My turn. Also annoying. All right, let's. With pleasure. I you suppose have my I should face. thank you. Oh, that doesn't cure her burn. Oh, that's I'll that'll trade this. off. Uh, uh, Leave this to me. No escape. 
My god. Level 80. 277,000 HP. Alright, we gotta fucking take her out, I guess. God, they're just double teaming oh, Laura right now. May I? My turn. Now's our chance. Here I come. Very well. Attack. Understood. That's good. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Uh. My turn. I leave this to you. I'll take it from here. Don't have it. Okay, I thought I did, but don't have it. Be her. Turn to it. <laughs> cool. Fine with that. I got one of them down. Ah, I got AP for beating her. I guess. I guess it won't be her. He does hell and just murders you anyway. Man, is that really what you call everything you got? God, that was rough. This can't be happening. How can they be so strong? I've never fought anyone so strong in my life. Not by a long shot. I didn't expect we would have a chance against him head on. We were able to knock that knight down at least. Ugh. I can't believe I lost to mere students. Of course, one of them had to be an arson. 
This is so humiliating! Why do you hate the R save? I'll give you a break. Were you even trying? <coughs> I thought you beat Luve once. Hard to believe with that sorry side of her face. I, I, hold the, hold, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Luve? How am I supposed to know that's pronounced Luve? How am I supposed to know that's not low? This is literally the first time it's voice acting. Man. That is a dumb pronunciation. Love? That's not. No, it's low. I'm talking low. I don't care. Also, she beat low once? That's pretty dope, actually. I she did. did. Granted, he won the other 99 or so battles. Okay, yeah. And I was! I. Simply slipped, that's all. Mm -hmm. Interesting. You mixed by any chance? What? What does it even mean? You mixed? Uh, what? What are you talking about? Mixed? Nothing. If you haven't noticed yourself, I'm not gonna be the one to tell you. Yo, bro, you missed? What? What does that even mean? If you haven't, it's probably not much anyway. Huh? What do you... Anyway, I'm out of here. Yeah, right? Like, you can take you're drunk? Your name over to the Duke. Guess you're not drunk. You can't be serious you won't help even a teensy bit it's a little much to handle all by myself nah i'm tired of this already maybe if one of them could seriously give me a run for my mirror i'd consider it one run for your mirror coming right up oh shit let's go it couldn't be <laughs> she finally made it yeah it's purple lightning uh Yeah. Let's go, Sarah. <laughs> we got the class together and our teacher. Nice. <sighs> Looks like I was right to hurry. I wasn't expecting to find you fighting monsters of this caliber. Your instructor, Sarah? Let's go, instructor Sarah Valstein. Sorry for the wait, but don't you worry your pretty little head's not. Now that I'm here, I won't let them lay a finger on you. Yeah, this, this is good. How could I call myself your homeroom teacher if I did? <laughs> Thanks. You're the purple lightning, aren't you? Huh. Hey, I've heard of you. Oh, yeah! Nice timing! What's Sarah doing here? Was this your doing, Eusis? <laughs> I used a secret channel to contact her. She was to be our insurance if things took a turn for the worse. Really? <laughs> Delighted to see that you're well, Lady Sarah. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Still, looks like you've been fighting some of your old pals for the sake of my kids. Oh, that's a good interaction and right there. Credit where it's due. <laughs> and I'm glad to see you're okay, Reen. Not that you dream of forgetting the promise you made, hmm? I've got a glass of beer with your name on it. <laughs> of course I wouldn't. Still not old enough to drink. That's my boy. Until we've done that, don't even think about dying. Because if you break your promise, you'll be subjected to a little thing I like to call homework from hell. Wouldn't that be a homework from uh, Gehenna? Do you seriously want to keep fighting? Homework from Gehenna. Surely you don't believe you'll win because you're an a rank racer. <laughs> you ask me. This is more like it. Not like there are any towns nearby I can burn down, so maybe it's time I stopped holding back. Okay, yeah, this guy just freely likes to commit arson on towns. I can see that. Uh, those flames are strong in four, I think. Stay away from him! Those are just like Hold on a moment! I know I said I wanted to help, but I'd rather you didn't set me on fire in the process! What the devil are you doing up there? The hell? His name is McBurn. 
That sounds like... What the devil are you doing up there? Isn't that Duke Alborea? Father? Lord Eusus. Eusus, what is the meaning of this? You dare to leave a letter like that and simply disappear? Have you gone mad? Letter? Hey, Duke. You mind staying out of this? I was getting all fired up there before you came and ruined everything. Silence! This has nothing to do with you. I will not stand for behavior like this, Eusus. You will do as I say! God, this guy sucks. Your selfish actions will smear mud on the good Alvarea name! Is that what you want? My intentions are as I outlined in the contents of that letter. I intend to walk my own path with my classmates at my side. I have no wish to dirty the Alvarea name. On the contrary, I wish to find for myself how I should live as one who bears it. Uses. <laughs> what is this drivel? I always knew what a mistake it was to accept you into this family! Yo, can, can we first, like, kill this guy right now? I'd be fine with that. I'd be absolutely forth, fine with Croydon. that. Alright, if any of the soul dads have to look like a Zaku, like a, like a, is it Zaku? These must be the soul dots from Oryx Force. I think it's a Zaku. That one that almost one like it. Must be a new model. That one looks like a Zaku. Really are gun of man. Yeah, there goes any interest I have left. Have a blast. See ya. You always be so indifferent. Hey, wouldn't it cool we have teleportation power right. apparently? Looks like it's your Are you gonna call Valley? No matter the results, we can't turn back. Take care, Master Reed. Heed my call. Valimar, the Ashen Knight! God, this feels like an anime where, like, the climax of the anime is always like... Alright, giant robot fight! It's like, ah, oh, cool, time for the, the, the Megas... Not that I hate it. I love this. This is I I want this. An ash-colored knight. <laughs> so that's the foul fiend that caused trouble for the soldiers from the Twin Dragons Bridge. Oh, so that's the Ashen Knight. The very same great knight that fought near Trista at that. And I can sense even more mana coming from it now than I could then. <laughs> its form is most impressive. We got our sword. Go forth, my knights! With them in our custody, the top spot in the alliance is as good as mine. Show them the terrifying strength of the All newest right, so addition to our army. We're gonna find out what the gimmick behind this yeah. giant so thing is. The double cannons look pretty impressive in the heavy armor. That one looks tough. Heavily armored, too. But I'm sure Valimar can take it. Right! What? I'm counting up. I'll do so. Alright, you ready? Okay. Okay, it's okay. Hi, I could take a car if I wanted to. You got no oh, heavenly slash. That's right. Let's take this thing out first. My turn. All right, we got uh, new people here. So let's. Good luck. What's Laura give us? Physical strength up? Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Emily I'll leave this to you. I'll take it from here. Defense up. Sorry Sisters, for the trouble. Uh, I'll show you how it's done. Defense and ADF. Defense and ADF. 
Oh, okay. Minus 25 on them. Interesting. I leave this to you. Oh, just straight up fiddle immunity, that's right. Understood. Who's our attack? That's not good. you how it's done. Bring it up! 
Now that I don't have Elliot here to uh Bring it up. to cheese this, it's kind of a problem. Is that all? Bring it up. Is that all? Is that all? Here I go. That's for you. Turn. without Elliot to have to heal. show you how it's done. I forgot I had this. That's what it was. I forgot I had that. That's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. Okay. That was the mechanic that I totally forgot existed. I'm just dumb, that's all. Bring it up! Now this turn you charge. Is that all? Here I go! 
Yeah, it's late at night. I, I am tired. Yes, sir. I'll show you how it's done. Right, I remember that spirit is what I use to heal. I'm so used to just abusing Ellie, it's like happening. heal thing. Tim. You think he's ready, Celine? He should. Green, give us a hand, Emma. We're going to open the spirit path. Right. Whew. A transportation spell? Time to make our... Wait! You can't... Farewell for now, Father. Please give my regards to Rufus as well. It is my dearest wish that you won't repeat the mistake you made with Ymir a second time. Arno. Might I ask you to return the horse I borrowed to the mansion? As you wish, Lord Eusus. Wait! Wait, I say! That is an order, Eusus! He don't take orders from you. We're dead. The worst dead. I like how the Orbal bike picked the trip in the spear path. You notice that? We brought a bike with us. Every time he fights, he gets stronger. What is he, go? Is Valimar just a Saiyan robot? Yeah, Orb Orb Orbbike is the best character. He really is. Our dude, Orbbike. <laughs> oh, I am getting sleepy. Oh my god, I love Milliam. It's gonna be rough when they like, hey, you won't put Instructor Sarah in the party, but you can only have one non class seven member in the party. And I'm just gonna be like, but I but I but I want but I want Sharon and, and I want Sarah in the party. Oh my god, Sarah's a playable character, let's go. And of course told one Sarah can use overdrive when he reads the party pretty well. Oh, okay. That's neat. Now we get multiple overdrive icons? Oh, that's... I like that change. Oh, dude. Back-to-back -back overdrives? Mm. No, they're not. Let's be honest, Don. 
<laughs> you know they're not. You know where we're tunnel visioning. Into lore. No, we're gonna tunnel vision into, into Lara. Welcome home, Rain. I see you were able to find the rest of your oh. classmates. Yeah, this is everyone. I'm just glad we made it back in one piece. The last part was definitely the biggest pain. Indeed. Regardless, we wouldn't have been able to make it here if not for you all coming to find us. Thank <laughs> And naturally, that goes for you too, Celine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's great to see you guys again. <laughs> oh, Machius. The winds must have been on your side. Oh my good guy says to mention the winds. My wind! It sounds like there was some trouble along the way, but you came back. My wind! That's all that matters. I can't say I'm surprised to find you're in good health, though. Ill weeds grow apace, after all. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Already Given how useless you fighting. are at anything you can't learn from a book, part of me expected we would next meet with you behind bars. Again. Damn. <sighs> It hasn't even been 30 damn seconds and I already want to kill you. While I'd expected you to come back with your classmates, I didn't think you'd come back with Sarah, too. Not that anything had ever happened to you, of all people. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly has gotten lively around here. <laughs> it sure has. You're looking a lot better, Dad. I'm still a ways from being back to my old self, but I'm finding it a lot easier to walk around. Toval and Captain Claire have kindly been handling both the village's security and correspondence with the other regions, which means I can focus on my health. <laughs> We're not doing anything special, really. We're just glad that you've been getting better. That's not true at all. You've done so much for us, I don't even know where to begin thanking you. And Reen, I want you to know that we're both so proud of what you've accomplished. It couldn't have been easy coming this far, but you did it. You should hold your head high. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to do any of it alone. It was only possible because everyone was with me. <laughs> well, I think we've been standing out here long enough. I've had rooms prepared for you all at the Phoenix Wing, so go ahead and rest there. Oh, isn't that where we stayed during our last visit? That's the one. I imagine you must all be exhausted after all that's transpired. Oh man, are we gonna have a hot spring episode? The open air bath's finally been repaired too. If you get the chance, you should enjoy a nice relaxing bath after all your hard work. Oh, the fact that they give you a save point here means there's going to be more cutscenes. Alright, who's ready for not gameplay for a while? I <laughs> know, right, Ellie? Um, glass is not fogged up. Yeah, I know. Immersion broken. Oh! You're right, lore. 
battle. All right. Rain. Do you essentially get to pick who shows up right here? Oh my god. L Laura. Oh, <laughs> uh, so the word you pick shows up right here. That's, that's, oh god. I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. You don't have to apologize, Rain. I should have checked if someone else was inside before coming in. Truth be told, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> well, I, I thought it would be empty by now. Still, this might make for the perfect chance to sit and talk, no? Oh, you still want to come in? <sighs> oh, there are few things more pleasant than relaxing in a hot spring while gazing up at the wintry sky. Mm, that tingle of warmth returning to my fingers and toes is particularly nice. Y yeah, I couldn't agree more. It's <laughs> my favorite time of the year oh, to relax in the springs, too. God. But never mind that. Are you sure you're comfortable with both of us being here, Laura? It's pretty late, and with the two of us, it's kind of, uh... Well, I am modestly covered, so I don't think there's a problem, per se. Although I'd prefer if you didn't look at me quite so pointedly. It's embarrassing for me to be here too, I hope you realize. Tr true. I wasn't doing it on purpose. S anyway, you said you wanted to talk, right? Was it about anything in particular? Well, I wanted the opportunity to say thank you. You're thanking me? For what? I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. <sighs> Everything, I suppose. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to Lagram to find us. Crow may not be with us, but you're the reason the rest of us are together again. I think that's a bit of a stretch. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was able to do anything <laughs> at all. <laughs> well, it's understandable that you'd feel that way. Still, I believe Class 7 is only what it is because you are at its center. You were the one who stood right back up and fought, and it's because of that we were able to make it this far. That's what I feel, and I know that's how the others feel too. So? I... <laughs> uh, I'd rather you didn't laugh God. at me. God it damn it, Reed. took a lot of courage to come in here and tell you that, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I c <laughs> I see. In that case, be sure that you never forget what I said. We've been through so much together. The bonds formed between us will not be so easily broken. Don't worry. I won't forget. Now that Class 7 is together again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Of course. Oh my god, Kirby. Nice. Anger? I don't know if, Okay, I don't know what that is. It's new. It's definitely not called Anger in uh, Cold Steel 1. Are we... Oh, we are... We, oh, a bit of a time jump. A couple days. Laura, Laura, smash! Oh, 
Oh! Two bonding events each that can be viewed instead of one. Uh, we're gonna double up? Oh, we have seven bonding points. Holy shit. Uh, that's a lot. Okay, we're gonna double up on Emma. No, no, no. We'll double up on Laura. Double up on Sarah. We could probably double up on Emma, too. And then we save our last one for... For Fee. I think that's the plan. But first, let's go snowboarding. Seven times. Right, first, let's unlock everybody's like. Let's unlock everybody's stuff. Okay, everyone's pretty much at level one. pretty good with the uh, Walter Fishies too. Thor. Oh, okay, you have the recovery. Ellis. That's actually pretty good. All the carry yeah. A3 course. I missed me? That's why I missed. No, no perfect! I did it! 
I gotta, I gotta find it. Ha! Ha! Oh, I mean, I know, I saw where it was. I just saw. Right here. Enemy record by 0.02. I did it! There we go. Passion buttons. A purple dotted board. Oh. Oh, it's purely cosmetic, of course. That's it for the day. We're done. We are uh, we are we are done for the the, the, the stream. Uh, yeah, we'll be back on uh, on Tuesday with uh, more Cold Steel too. Uh, but tomorrow I'll be doing the Ironmon Heart Gold Challenge that Pi's been doing, and uh, I'll be going live about that about like 6 p.m. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Iron Mon. Hey, it's gonna be really silly, and uh, we'll see how far we get. But thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. Bye. -bye.